And we're back now talking to our area athletic directors. And up next is Joe Mominier from Hilton Head Island High School. Good friend of mine, Joe, you've been here at the high school for nine years now. Yes, nine years as, as athletic director, and I believe 12 years overall uh, there at the school. So you've seen a lot of things change over the years, but nothing quite like this past year change, right? Nothing like this last year. <laughs> nothing like this last year. Uh, so let's talk about that. Last year and going into spring, everything's going fine, and then we have to shut down abruptly. So now that we're a year later, a lot has changed, a lot has happened, you've learned a lot. So what's going on with the spring now? Right now we're going full boat with spring. We're finishing up winter. Our wrestling team actually is with May River tonight at the lower state. Our basketball team finishes up uh, their, their region play uh, tomorrow. Uh, we'll start the playoffs uh, for, for those, for the, for the basketball, boys basketball team um, starting next week. And all of our spring sports have started tryouts and they're getting ready to start scrimmaging this week. Actually, the rain got in a little way of that. Uh, but our boys soccer team has had uh, two scrimmages. Our girls lacrosse team is starting their scrimmages Saturday. So it's starting to move forward. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to believe that's happening in the middle of February, but it's, it's great and mm -hmm. we're glad that it is. Yes. So give us a preview of your teams. You've had a lot of success over the years with state champion teams, region champs, and so what do you expect for this year? Um, the spring's gonna look great. Uh, we have only one new coach this year. Our track coach is new. Um, they have a, about 70 kids coming out for track, excited about that. I believe our tennis team's gonna be solid. Our golf team is coming off the 2019 state championship, mm -hmm. which we didn't have one last year. Uh, girls and boys soccer both look very strong this year. Um, our boys and girls lacrosse team, again, lo look strong. Um, we have a our softball team is getting better each year and our baseball team should be solid. So we should have a really, really solid spring that, and there's no like really any um, crazy standout. I just think that they're all gonna be very good and I really love our new region um, this year. We just have, a, you know, we have seven teams this year in our region where the years past we've only had four. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited about having the competition from, from James Island, May River now, uh, of course, Bluffton and Beaufort. Um, Lucy Beckham, a new school, and then Carlton. So it's really going to be an interesting spring because there's a lot of new newness to our region and a lot of un variables that we just are unknown. We just don't know, you know, kind of who's what, what Lucy Beckham's going to bring as a new school, and then what James Island's going to bring from the Charleston area. Yeah, that's got to be exciting on the for the players and the coaches, not mm -hmm. knowing what to expect yep. and seeing some some new people come our way here. Absolutely, a lot of to juggle in spring. So many yep. sports. Uh, do you, what are some challenges that you still are going to be dealing with as you deal with COVID and with the change of venue being outside right. now? So I mean, we're going to have to look at our venues. We're going to have to find out how many um, parents, fans we can have in different venues. We're doing, we're evaluating that now, um, even though it's outside. Um, like with tennis, like we'll, we can't have the parents sit inside the court. They'll have to put their chairs on the outside, socially distanced. Baseball is a small area with only, you know, certain um, one concession stand, one restroom. So we have to look at some of the things that, that, that are put in place that are recommended by the league. And, and again, we want to make sure that parents can see their children play mm -hmm. as well as other fans. It's part of the high school experience for the kids playing as well as the kids in the stands. And with success, you know, a lot of people are interested in seeing our, our athletes play. So my goal is to try to find um, you know, enough space for fans, but also make it safe for them um, and, and obviously stop the spread of COVID. The one change for spring, the other one is gonna be is, is weather. So now we have COVID and then we have weather on top of it. So we already had a tremendous amount of changes in the fall and winter with canceled games, rescheduling yeah. um, games and things like that. And the, and the, so that'll add another twist to, to the springtime with, with, with weather. So. I think a lot of people tend to dwell on the negative during this time, but there's not, it's not all been negative. There's a lot of positive. What would you say is something that maybe stands out to you as maybe a plus or something that's actually been a good change or something you might look to do permanently now? Just the perseverance of our athletes, um, trying to stay safe, trying to keep going. Um, you know, just again, you get that phone call on the weekend where a possible um, athlete is exposed to COVID and you have to kind of look at look at everyone, the, trace the contact, um, you know, trying to figure out whether it affected the other team or whether it affects your team. And then obviously um, if their team goes into quarantine, 
Um, it, it's it, you just have to go with the flow. You can't it's yeah. you can't take it personal because it's not. It's just about a virus that you know has no brain, has no <laughs> real real pattern. It's just you just have to deal with it and move forward and, and make the best that you can. And we we have so far. I mean, and I think a lot of things have come out of that too. Just learning to be patient and deal with each other and things like that. And on that note. Tell us as an athletic director, what are some key things that are important to you as you try to build your athlete, athletes, coaches, and your athletic department overall? Well, I mean, I want to make sure that our coaches are providing um, a good environment for our student athletes, um, you know, being positive, um, you know, l really working with the athlete as a whole, not just about their specific skills, but but developing them as people. Mm -hmm. um, because sports is a, a kind of a small microcosm of life where you have to learn how to deal with a boss, you have to learn how to deal with teammates or workers or how to deal with adversity or success. All the things, the little things in life that that you deal with as an adult, you, you can have, it's like a little little petri dish of, of, of life. I mean, it, without it being serious uh, issues like having children or having to pay rent or, or a car, things like that. So they can learn some of those skills uh, through athletics, and that's really what you want to do. You want to try to develop productive citizens for our society, you know, as well balanced as we can. Absolutely. So when they leave Hilton Head High School or wherever they go from there, they've come out as better people. So yes. that's all the time we have. Um, so we're excited that spring sports is coming. I know I'm excited about coming out there and checking it out. And so we hope you all will go out and support your community, local schools here in Beaufort County, all around. Stay right here. We're going to be back with more 843 TV.